is Simon from boltonguitar.co.uk and this is part 3 of my tutorial on how to play Grand Vols by Francisco Terriga. Um, so we're starting actually on the second beat of bar 33 which leads us into um, the second section of the um, piece where we have a key change. So we're actually leading in by placing the first finger at the 11th fret first string and the second finger on the 12th fret first string E. And we're playing those, we're playing the E and then doing a pull off or a slur to the 11th fret D sharp. Keep the first finger down and drop the little finger onto the 14th fret um, of the first string to the F sharp. And we're now doing a slur or a pull off from the F sharp to the E at the 12th fret. So that's now giving us So pull off. Now when you're doing this, what I do, I'm keeping that first finger securely anchored on that D sharp so that it supports the other fingers. So when I get that F sharp, notice the first finger's already down and I'm really holding those two strings, those two notes down with the first and second fingers really quite securely. So you can get a clear sound on the pull off. Um, there's a tendency, if you don't hold that down um, securely, you pull the string over, you'll, you'll do something like or something like that. So you need to hold those down really strongly in order to get that nice clear slur. So now into bar 34 and we're now into the new key of E major with four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp and D sharp. Um, so we're dropping that first finger down to the ninth fret to giving us a C sharp and we're playing the first string and the sixth string together but we're putting the ornament on so we're doing the hammer on and pull off from the ninth to the eleventh fret so we're playing so we've got that first finger drops down to the seventh fret Place the third finger on the second string, ninth fret, G sharp. We play those two notes together. And then leaving them on, we drop the second finger onto the ninth fret, third string, E. And we play the three note chord. So that's now. Into bar 35, we're starting with open strings. So we're playing the sixth string open, followed by the second string open, that's the B, and then the first string open. The fourth note of bar 35, we're dropping the second finger down forcibly onto the G sharp of the fourth fret for string. So we're playing. Play the open string again and then hammer the finger down. So we're playing. Remember, you've really got to hammer that finger down. Now, moving into bar 36, that second finger slides up a fret, keeping it down on the string, slides up a fret to the fifth fret A, and we're now doing a bar across um, four strings. So that's across to the F sharp. I actually do it across five, um, which helps out at the end of the line. But you can try either way. So we're playing the fourth string F sharp along with the A on the first string with the ornament. So we're doing a hammer on with that little finger onto the seventh fret and then off. So that's giving us. The... So I'll do that. With the bar on, we're playing the third string and second string together, that's D sharp and B. 
And now with that finger in place, we play the F sharp and slide that finger up to the ninth fret um, B. So that's now giving us um, right. So now with the ninth fret, we're playing F sharp as a slur. That's at the fourteenth fret, and then doing a pull off or a slur from the F sharp at the fourteenth fret to the D sharp at the 11th fret. So we've got the and then to finish bar um, 37, we then placing the little finger on the 12th fret for string and we're playing the E and then doing a pull off um, to the C sharp which the bar's covering. So that is now So bar 37, we've got the slide up. Oh, I'll play that again. Now, if you've kept your bar on at that ninth fret, that's given us the bass note for the fifth, um, fifth string, which is actually F sharp. So we're playing the 5th string, 9th fret, you place the little finger back on the E at the 12th fret, and we're playing the 5th and 1st string together, drop the little finger back to the 11th fret, D sharp, drop the 2nd finger onto the 2nd string 10th fret, which sets our chord up now, so we're playing the 4th string, 2nd string and 1st string together. Play that twice. So we've now bar 37. Uh, into bar 39, our bar chords drop into the seventh fret. Now that gives us our bass note of B. And again, we've got a slur, so we're doing a slur on the first string from the 11th fret to the 7th fret, so that's D sharp to B. And then we're placing the third finger on the 9th fret, first string C sharp, we play that note, and then the little finger plays the A on the second string 10th fret. So that's. Um, into bar 40, we actually have a repeat of bar 34. So we're back to the ninth position with our hammer on, our slur on that first string with the open sixth string. Drop that first finger back to the seventh fret and put the third finger on the ninth fret, second string G sharp, and then second finger on to the third string. So we've got, so far, um, we're now repeating at bar 41 our opening sequence. Oops, play that again, Simon. So that's just a repeat of bar 33 and 34. Um, and we're into bar 43 now. So this is down to your first fret. We want E on the second fret, fourth string. G sharp on the third string, first fret, third string. So that's now giving us a little arpeggio. So we're playing the, fifth, uh, the sixth string. Four, three, two. Our little finger lands on the second string 
fifth fret, we play that note and slide that up to the 12th fret. So that's giving us Keep that little finger down on that 12th fret and we're playing the 5th string open, that's A, with the octave B on the 2nd string 12th fret. And by 44 we drop right down to the 2nd position and we're playing B, uh, we're playing F sharp on the 4th string 4th fret, A on the 2nd fret 3rd string and C sharp on the 2nd string second fret. So we play that chord, that's an F sharp minor chord, we play that twice. So we've played play that again. Now, we're into bar 45, so we have a little scale passage. So we're in, starting in the fourth position, we play the open fifth string A, the F sharp with the first finger on the fourth string fourth fret, followed by the G sharp on the fourth string sixth fret, A on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So that is onto the third string fourth fret B, that finger then slides up to the 6th fret, so we're moving into the 6th position. So that's giving us... Keep that first finger down, place the second finger on the 6th string, 7th fret B, and we're playing the 6th string and 3rd string together, and we're doing a slur or a hammer on on that 3rd string to the... Uh, 8th fret. So we're playing the 6th um, uh, string and the 3rd string with the hammer on. The chord that follows it in bar 46 then, the first finger moves across onto the 4th string 6th fret and we're playing the 4th string, 2nd string and 1st string. So that's... And then finally we're moving into the ninth position, putting the first finger on the third string ninth fret, the third finger on the fourth string eleventh fret, and the little finger on the first string twelfth fret. So we're playing four, three, and one in the sequence of the strings. Drop the fingers back to the eighth fret, so that's the first finger and the little finger and then this time we're placing the second finger onto the B on the fourth string ninth fret. Keep that chord formation, drop it back again two frets to the sixth fret and we're playing again, we're playing the fourth, third and first string. So that sequence is And then into the second position, we're playing our chord of B, dominant seventh, which is a bar at the second fret. Third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. Little finger on the second string, fourth fret. And we're playing the inner strings. That's five, four, three, and two. Into bar 48, we're finishing with our chord of E major which is the first finger on your third string, first fret, and the second finger on the fourth string, second fret. And we're playing the fourth, third, second, and first strings. Bring your second finger over onto the fifth string, second fret B. Then the little finger onto the G sharp, fourth fret, sixth string. Then take that finger off to give us the open sixth string. Um, so slowly, we've got on uh, this section.
And uh, there we have the left hand for this section. Now uh, let's go over to the right hand. So the opening phrase on bar 33, I'm playing with middle finger, index finger, and then middle finger. And I, I'm playing those in rest strokes or apoyando. The chord obviously is with the two fingers. So we've got Then playing the third string with the thumb, so I'm using the two fingers and the thumb. Index and middle. With the hammer on, I do that again with the middle finger. Then chords with the two fingers. You could play that with the third finger and then third finger and then again rest strokes I'm playing the first string with the third finger and then dropping back so using the thumb and then indexing middles for the chord so bar 38 I'm playing Apoyando on that first string. Thumb playing the bass note, and then again using rest strokes or apoyando on those melody notes. Two fingers and then thumb. Then we're going into a repeat. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. Then I'm playing index, finger, taking us up for the slide. And again, I'm doing that as a rest stroke. And then I'm playing, again, a rest stroke on that second string. I'm using the third finger there. Dropping down to bar 44 for the chord, which is thumb and two fingers. Then thumb plays the bass note, which is bar 45. So just using alternate fingers on the little scale passage. Um, and notice I'm on that one. I'm just playing that in tirando or three strokes. That's so I don't get interfere with the bass note. If you do it in rest strokes. Stop the bass note from sounding. See, so. Middle finger. Then the chord with the thumb, index and middle fingers. And then the, these final chords, I'm playing with the thumb, index finger, and mi um, third finger on the outer string. So that's. Just dropping down the B7 chord with thumb and three fingers. And then again, thumb, three fingers for the E chord. Thumb, thumb, thumb. And then we're into our repeat. Uh, so that's the uh, second part of Grand Vols. And I uh, hope you help, this helps you to play this piece. Music and tabs are available free from my webpage, boltonguitar.co.uk. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.